Welcome back to Game Devs Play Games, the show where we play games and talk game design and have game designers on our show. Introduce yourself. <laughs> Again? Again. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> no, no, just... <laughs> nah, nervous just now, I'm nervous now. I, didn't, I put on spot. We didn't talk about this before, so now I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, we, uh, you should have been watching episodes before. If you haven't, go back and watch that. Um, this guy is Eric Bloomquist. Yes. I uh, felt like you intimately had to go into the cam or camera. We, we, have some, we have some intimate moments, right, guys? Into yeah. the camera. Uh, uh, so we skipped past a little bit of a scene. Um, it basically, because... it was a little bit of, like, relationship building between these two guys here. And if and, you uh, want to see that, you're going to have to go play the game yourself. Oh! oh and it's a, it's a more introspective and intimate moment that should be, you know, between you and the game. Yeah. And if, yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, if you remember him saying something about a Final Fantasy VII, like, homage, well, that may or may not have been that part. <laughs> mm. <laughs> um, also, she shows us a little bit of a shortcut, so that's why we're actually on our way back to the village, um, but that's why, like, we're going through new areas, is because this is faster than Go going through the quick. woods. Walk back real quick. Okay, so this is one thing I want to point out. Apples? No. Um, when you press apples. when you press E, the whole thing on the, everything on the screen that you can interact with glows. Mm -hmm. But everything that doesn't glow, obviously, you cannot interact with. What's interesting about that is, is when you're going through a beautiful area like this, and you press E and nothing flashes, you now no longer have to worry mm. about interacting with things. You can just enjoy the view. That's pretty interesting. Fair. Cool. Yes. That's awesome. Uh, no, I actually really appreciated that about, and I, I kept forgetting to mention it before, but there's been a few places that that that's really important. Th those apples are a good example too, because it's like if anything will, was going to be interactable, it would have been those apples. And oh, because yeah. they weren't, it's like, well, if that's not, then nothing is. It's the <clears throat> the flashing of all the the different things you can act with was a, a late addition. Really? As well. It was something that I was just like, this really needs to be built in. Now, was that based off of focus testing? Like, some of the people that played the game were like, yeah. I just don't know where anything is. The Specifically, the boards on the house that you have to get off, <laughs> that was the huge one. Because it's kind of in shadow. Uh, yeah, it did take me a little yeah. bit to... And that was, a, that was a huge problem for us. Actually, that puzzle in general is, I think, flawed from a design perspective because you're getting something that's wood and there's wood everywhere. That's fair. The thought did cross yeah. my mind, and to it's, be totally oh, honest. Oh, we know. We know. <laughs> <laughs> but you get to a point where you're like, if I'm to rebuild this, I'm going to have to, like, completely change, you know. Mm -hmm. you can, I, this is the most difficult part as, as a designer. Sometimes you just got to move on. You got to move on. Yeah, you, well, if you're, because you'll you'll never ever release something if you if you feel like you have to constantly tweak things. Absolutely, just yeah. learn from it, grow from it, put it out there, and move on and do something new. Yeah, it's it's never gonna be perfect. It, it's not, no, and I, never. I I think a good takeaway too is that like on the player side, like if, even if they're like, oh well, that's a little weird. W what's really the cost on the player side? That's that's literally as far as it goes. It goes. That's weird. Moving on. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, is it really worth the extra ten hours of development or more, or like a week's worth of development to to? Oops, I was not paying attention. But is it worth the extra time to do that? I don't think so. You also You're get an so achievement if you game. miss this. Oh, I did not. Has know. anyone gotten the achievement for this? I, I got the achievement did for you? for goofing up. Oh, okay. I don't know if there's one for uh, doing everything right though. If you do it perfectly, yeah, I think, yeah. I had a feeling. I got that one because I don't know how to mess up. We had a lot of fun oh. naming the achievements. <laughs> <laughs> now so, for the real test. So, what was the inspiration for this this moment? So a big part of healing the first chakra is through physical action. Ah. And if you notice, remember we talked about how his idol changes? How yeah. So this is the moment. This is the moment where he starts to really feel like he's taking action. And it's a simple little thing, but yeah, this is this is that changeover. You know, I like that. Yeah. And, and, and it's kind of like cleverly hidden in this sort of comedic moment. But it is, I think it... <laughs> It stands out both because it's a comedic moment, but it also stands out, I think, in a way to kind of show that too. I I, I like that actually. Thank you. And we we don't draw attention to it either. You know, if Emma does isn't like, well, look at you, Mr. Confident Pants. You know. <laughs> 
I notice how you're having fun all of a sudden. <laughs> you're gonna mess this up. Upright, upright. Left, left, down. left, down. Psh, I'm the best dancer. Ooh, man. Kanga don't know who he's messing with. Contra, I mean. Contra is definitely though my my Dragon Ball love. Oh yeah. Actually, this scene in general is a huge homage to Dragon Ball. Uh, because they're doing the fusion dance? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. I was like, ah, fusion dance, ah, ah. <laughs> this whole thing is one big Ginyu Force oh, fusion it's, dance. Oh, great. Yeah. This is some of my favorite thing to animate. <laughs> you should give him the old raccoon boom. Right. <laughs> and then restart to the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> See, only a certain amount of people will get that joke. <laughs> if you were a diehard Dragon Ball, I was gonna say it's better that way. It's better that way. Fans will comment on it. <laughs> yeah, be mad. I'm a good dancer. There's I no like his face, by the way. Oh, thank you. Like he's kind of got that like overbite. I love watching. <laughs> this. You got it. Yes. So you can't fail if you fail. Screw up during the tutorial. That's. Um, yes. That's nice. Yeah. It's very. It's very. Uh, what's the word? Forgiving. I just thought that's that would weird. be lame. I know, you, right? You have to perfect a tutorial. Yeah, I was just like, nah. I'll make it. It so. needs that's more not dark souls. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> uh, <laughs> we make chapter two. It's like chapter two. The song of seven is the Dark Souls of adventure games. <laughs> dark Souls. <laughs> no, that's called Grim Fandango. <laughs> So what, what, it, uh, hmm, I guess maybe you've already talked about this, but I guess, do you want to talk to some of your inspirations for, for this game? I mean, I, I know that in episode one, you talked about how it was very much like revolved around chakras. Um, but like, I guess maybe other games, what other hmm. games do you think have influenced this? Speaking um, of Grim Fandango. So Final Fantasy nine, for sure. Um, I'd say like adventure games in general. I yeah. guess it's hard to like really pinpoint one. Uh, Wind, yeah, Wind Waker, mm. for sure. Ah. Um, at least aesthetically. No, definitely. Yeah. Especially I, you can see it, especially with Emma. I don't know why. Like the moment I saw her eyes, I was like, oh, that's like has Wind Waker written all over it. Well, they're very. I, I think one of the strong suits of of Wind Waker were that the characters were very expressive, mm -hmm. um, especially for being like that was one of the reasons they went with the more cartoony route was because it was easier to show emotions in the face. Um, and while yours isn't as cartoony and, and as simplistic as Wind Waker was, um, I feel like you still very much cared about the expression of of these guys. I um, mean, it, it comes across in the animation. I mean, it's even like animating that mustache, for example. Speaking, like, <laughs> I was going to say, speaking of expressions, it's not only the mustache, it's how he holds his arms out. Mm -hmm. It's really funny because everyone's, everyone on <laughs> that team, that's their favorite animation. And I'm like, guys, do you know how many complex animations I've completed in this game that it was pent like, some of them take days, you know, like the Contra jump. That was, mm -hmm. I mean, it's like something that happens instantly, but that was, that took me some time to get right, uh, you know. Oh, it's absolutely. probably 500 frames of animation right there. <laughs> and it's just this silly little idol that I did in an hour. Like, why am I even trying? <laughs> Man, that's sort of the crazy thing about entertainment in general is like, you you could do one thing, like the simplest thing, and some people just like, they yeah. latch onto that. So one of my, the quotes that I kind of live by as a designer is simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. Mm. So that's, I always try to find simple but sophisticated solutions to things. Um, I'm going to stop you real here. Okay, so this I found interesting because after doing all of these things to where we had to find bits and pieces to go out and adventure or find the tonic for the uh, for Talor and all that other stuff, when we come back home, when Kiba comes back home, you just decided to make this a scene rather than forcing the player to go through every single thing and fix everything mm. and all that. I found that very interesting. Why was that? I just, it felt like it would have been busy work. And I don't like doing busy work in video games. Like questing almost. Yes, like where it's like, bring me these three berries. Fetch quests. Or fetch that I... Mm. Yeah. That's why, you know, I have a friend that's trying to get me into Witcher, and I started playing it, and I'm like, <laughs> I really like this, but I would love to cut out all the MMO-esque 
you know, sort of arbitrary things that mm-hmm. you have to do. I just want to do real character building stuff. So that's a big thing about about this is that I I, I never wanted them to do something that felt mundane. That, that's right. pretty fair. Yeah. Oh, uh, real quick, does Sierra have a tail? She does not. Ooh, I was, I, I've been Sierra, wondering about that. Yeah, Sierra, I I think is one of the characters I'm the most excited to learn a little bit more about because she's. She she obviously looks very different, but she also has a very different attitude from everyone else in the village. Yeah. Like she's very obsessive compulsive, but even even aside from that, she's like, I probably won't sleep. I'm gonna be up all night working. I wrote this scene actually. This is one yeah. of the scenes that I wrote. Um that I, I put in later, because before there was a long time where actually that little montage of him fixing things, you didn't see him fix things. It was like him in like a noogie with Charles and then him getting hugged by Kay and Bo and then have him having dinner. And I was like, oh, that's a bug. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I must have hit it on accident. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> <laughs> see, now, see, now, see, now if I turn it off, it'll... It's, see, the animation's not going to play because it's based on his old... Huh. Uh, oh, yeah, speaking of which, stop moving. Huh? Oh, wait, what's uh, what's going on with that arm there? It doesn't look like you're covering yourself ah, up anymore. Look who's gained some confidence. Good observation. But bam. So I, I also, I, I know we've already been talking about that, that like we're fixing everything scene, but I do want to talk about something that we talked a little bit uh, off camera about um, with how that scene, while it was totally set up to be like, oh, Kiba, we're going to banish you from this village. Like you've betrayed us. You didn't fix this fence and now we're all doomed. Um, instead of making that like the stereotypical like RPG ish like now we're forcing you to go out into the world because we hate you, um, you made it very forgiving. They they basically were like, Kiba, fix everything that you goofed up, and then we're cool again. We're still gonna be a little mad, but we're, we're cool. And that's really that's actually something that I'm really passionate about. Like outside of video games, is that we're all deeply flawed, and I think truly loving ourselves and our friends is like accepting ourselves and other people for their flaws. Like, you know, I've been in situations where you have friends that are, it almost feels like they're looking for a reason to not be your friend anymore. But then I have friends yeah. that I've been with for like dec- like over a decade and I've made plenty of mistakes during that friendship. And it's like, you know, we work through it and we still love each other and we're still great friends. And, you know, so that was a theme that I was really, really important to me. I, I think in, in because of that, the, like that moment feels very real, like kind of touching in a way too. Mm-hmm. It's like it it catches you off guard. It's not what you expect, and then it turns out to be very wholesome. And it's like, oh god, they really do care. <laughs> and even like this scene, following that up too, like it kind of chokes me up because it's like, well, god, I wish I had this kind of relationship with my siblings, where it's just like, wow, even she cares, and like she makes you feel bad. Oh yeah, no, that dialogue actually kind of hits you a little bit. Yeah, um, but yeah, I'm I'm really happy with the scene. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't humble brag. Sorry, <laughs> but no, like I didn't honestly, mean, I, that did not come out the way I meant it to come out. Uh, I just, it's, it's fine. Thanks. <laughs> uh. Can we cut, just cut that out. No. <laughs> Person editing. <laughs> yes, Chris, cut that out. <laughs> no, but like I was winking. I, w- <laughs> what I was really happy with was like, because when you first talk to her, she's kind of standoffish to you and mean and stuff. And it's like, that's kind of how my relationship with my sister is. Mm-hmm. Like when we're just pass her, when we pass each other by, you know, it's like, we're like, ah, whatever to you. But like, if there's something that really went down, her and I would like have some beers, sit down and really have a heart to heart for a couple hours. So yeah. our relationship is very similar to this. Yeah, it's it's both like touching and it's kind of adorable at the same time, and, it's, and then it you makes you feel so many things. Scene, that that very last scene <laughs> to, to wrap things up, but we will have to talk about that in the next episode. The last, the last, the last episode. Yeah. Last episode. All right. Um, but I do have a question of the day. I mean, Ooh. going back to everything, um, between the, the well, I, unfortunately, between the scene that we skipped up um, on the uh, with the where the two were talking. Um, and having that heart to heart and then coming back home and having that that lovely moment between the villagers who are actually forgiving Kiba, he just has to fix what he's done wrong. And that final heart to heart between the, the two siblings. What other moments in games have you have you actually gone like all like actually had um, like a, a, an impact on you? Those hmm. Yeah, I guess Here that's we go. What moment in games gave you the feels? 
basically but yeah. also why like what yeah, about yeah. it made you have the and i'm feels? not talking about like oh no Aerith died no not that i know that you say Aerith. yo uh, nerd. <laughs> 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 well thank uh, you for watching everybody be sure to stay tuned for the last episode and uh check out this guy on twitter and buy the game <laughs> Because we're obviously skipping stuff, so you should buy the game, read all the dialogue, and explore all the stuff, Dude, because it's... You. That's the end of the episode. Ow!